Hey guys, JT here with a final thoughts. Um, not gonna really do a review on this because this platform has kind of been out for a while, but this is on the ECX Amp MT uh, monster truck. ECX came out with this probably um, at the time of this video about a month, a little bit over a month ago. Uh, I got this because I love the way the truck actually sits and looks, and I love this body. I really do. Um, and the tires and wheels are also something new as well. They are 2.2 in diameter, but they do have a 12 millimeter hex. The one thing that I didn't like about this car, um, and it's just my personal preference, was this little itty bitty radio. Um, this thing is very small, and it uses four double A's. So obviously, this is made um for a child to hold an adult could too but um i just wasn't fond of this because with this you also get this two in one um electronic speed controller and receiver that's built into one so if you just wanted to change your esc out and keep the receiver you couldn't do it uh these two actually come together and a combo so if your esc burns out you have to get a new radio or if your receiver burns out you got to get a new you know, uh, receiver for it, etc. So I'm not too fond these. I never have been, but I know they did it to cut down on costs because you can get this truck for about one twenty nine. Um, sometimes you'll have discounts where you can get a, a couple more dollars off of it and get free shipping as well. So underneath the chassis of this, of course, it's built just like the circuit and the boost. I added this Velcro strap in so that I could um, actually put in some 5,000 milliamp LiPo batteries. And I didn't have to drill any holes. If you guys can see in there, a little dirty in there, but it already comes with these slots in here because they probably anticipated people using bigger batteries in it. But this chassis design is based just off the Boost and the Circuit Buggy by ECX. And it's a proven platform. I've driven the heck out this car and I haven't had any problems or issues with it. I've bashed it and bashed it really hard, actually. Um, I did upgrade, as you see here, the radio system. I had a Traxxas receiver, so I went ahead and put that in there. And I also upgraded the ESC. Um, I put this one in from Hobby Wing. This is actually able to handle uh, up to a 3S LiPo down to an 18-turn brushed motor. And it's 60 amps and it's waterproof as well. This speed controller cost about 20 bucks. And I would recommend if you do get this kit and you're going to do some upgrades to upgrade this because you can still use this motor. I think I've ran this thing about 20 plus times on this 20 turn brush motor that's included with it and haven't had any issues. A um, couple other things they do is they also give you uh, these sponge spacers for the rear of the body, which is good because if the car crashes or the body catches in the back, or hits on top, it's less likely to crack and break up here. The tire compound has been good. I haven't had any problems with this, especially basically this being based off a two-wheel drive buggy. Um, they don't have any foams inside, so I was kind of surprised when I actually did get traction on and off-road on a really wet, slippery surface. Of course, you won't get traction, but you do have a slipper clutch in this, so you can loosen that slipper clutch up to not at least accelerate as much in um, that's a good thing as well. It does not come, of course, with Metal Gear. So all in all, I have really liked this truck and enjoyed running it, and I'll enjoy running it um, some more in the future as well. Like I said, for the price point at $129, i am glad ECX did go back to releasing kits like this. The only thing, I, like I said, for my personal preferences, I don't like this radio too much. Uh, I did run this on LiPo. Um, you can see here. This will focus in just a little bit. This is a 20 amp speed controller um, and it is waterproof and I ran a light on it. I didn't run it down to where the LVC would cut in because of course with this 20 turn motor and a 5,000 milliamp LiPo, it's probably going to last a long time. I would have to look at the specs to see if it actually has an LVC on it, um, but I'm pretty sure it does. It'd be kind of hard to release cars that can't use um, LiPo batteries nowadays. So. Anyway, that is a quick um, review or my final thoughts on this truck. Love this truck. Have bashed the heck out of it. The body's barely gotten scratched. I did flip it a couple of times, but it's held up real well. Of course, it's not super fast, but when I added the new speed controller to it and ran it on 3S LiPo, it was hitting close to 30 miles per hour, which I think is fine, especially if you were getting this for a kid, uh, maybe even for Christmas as a gift for their first RC car because it's easy to work on. And it also uses still 
show this to you. It does not use hex. It does use Phillips in there, which is good for kids to kind of start out with so they won't be stripping those small hex screws. But like I said, I haven't had any problems or issues out of this. Gearbox didn't strip. I did jump and flip it a lot and keep the throttle going. So I think this would be a great buy for a young child, especially if they're first getting in the hobby. And it does come ready to run uh, with a battery and charger as well. So as always, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like or dislike and subscribe if you have not. Put your comments below and stay tuned for more videos.